The Large Hadron Collider has long been wrapped in mystery and controversy. From its colossal size to the crazy supersonic atomic reactions, many have long feared that this multi-billion dollar instrument may just rip our world apart. However, in a mesmerizing atom-smashing experiment, scientists at CERN have announced an astonishing breakthrough in their search for the God particle. Experts have discovered a never-before-seen particle that has the potential to reshape our very own model of quantum physics. Plus, it may just take us one step closer to discovering the truth about the origin of the universe. What did scientists at CERN find in the Large Hadron Collider? How does this help our understanding of the universe? What other plans does CERN have for the Large Hadron Collider? Join us in this video as scientists announce a mysterious discovery at the Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider is one of the most astonishing miracles of science in the 21st century. Situated in Geneva near the France-Switzerland border, this phenomenal work of science took over 10 years to build. The LHC complex goes as deep as 574 feet, with a circumference of about 89,760 feet. In case you're wondering, the Large Hadron Collider is a particle accelerator. It smashes particles together in a closed, controlled chamber at super-fast speeds, while scientists observe and draw data from the results. The Collider Tunnel features two adjacent parallel beam pipes with four intersection points around the ring. It is at these intersection points that particle collisions take place. The LHC also features about 1230 dipole magnets and 392 quadrupole magnets. These magnets help keep the charged particle beams focused and on track for the collision. In total, over 10,000 superconducting magnets were installed in the LHC, with about 96 tonnes of superfluid helium, four installed to keep the magnets from overheating. The sheer size of this facility and the crazy amount of magnets and other installments it contains have earned the LHC the title of the world's largest cryogenic facility. But more than just magnets, the LHC also consumes lots of electrical power to run. During operations, the Large Hadron Collider draws as much as 200 megawatts of electricity, which is about one-third of the total energy consumption of the city of Geneva. Also, each day of operation results in about 140 terabytes of data. These are just a few of the many mind-blowing facts about the LHC. And this $4.7 billion project is unarguably one of the top assets of the modern-day scientific community. The multi-billion dollar collider, which also doubles as the largest particle accelerator in the world, took the combined efforts of scientific experts from many nations. About 10,000 scientists and hundreds of universities joined heads together to make the Large Hadron Collider a dream come true. CERN, an organization of European states with the goal of uncovering the secrets of the universe, was the first to envision this masterpiece. However, seeing the collective good it would do to the scientific community, it didn't take long before scientists from all over the world came to join in on the project. Today, you can say that the LHC is the miracle child of many experts and professionals, some of whose names we may never know. But then you may ask, what prompted CERN and these nations to build something as massive as the Large Hadron Collider? The answer is simple, to explore the subatomic world. You see, while there is a vast cosmic world in the skies above and beyond us, another invisible world exists right here with us. This world is called the subatomic world, or what some would call the quantum realm. Think of the quantum realm as a universe of its own. The only catch is that you cannot access this universe until you shrink to subatomic size. Just like the vast cosmic universe, the subatomic universe holds several keys to our existence. Scientists believe several entities or particles that formed the early universe and everything else we see today may be found in the subatomic universe. But how do we access this elusive dark world? Can we somehow shrink to subatomic sizes to access it? Not exactly. 
While such feats may happen in the movies, they aren't possible in real life, at least not yet. For now, physicists can only learn about the quantum realm by using special instruments to study particles that belong to that realm. One such instrument is the LHC. While space instruments like James Webb and Hubble Space Telescope are tasked with peeking into the vast expanse of the universe to find the deepest secrets hidden in the deep beyond, the LHC seeks to explore the unknown. Scientists at CERN use the Large Hadron Collider to run experiments to find any elusive particles or elements that may further prove some of our existing scientific theories. One such particle is the Higgs boson, also called the Higgs particle. This mysterious particle is the basic elementary particle in our current standard model of particle physics. The Higgs particle has a symmetric wave function and zero electric charge, zero color charge and zero spin. Now, these terms may seem a bit confusing, but in science, they are terms that describe how a particle would behave. Some particles would spin, others would possess an electric or color charge, and so on. The boson, however, doesn't do any of this. The discovery of the Higgs particle is credited to scientist Peter Higgs. However, it isn't the only thing bearing the scientist's name. Higgs was also the first to propose the Higgs field. The Higgs boson is produced when particles interact with the Higgs field. The Higgs field is a scalar field designed to act as a complex quantum state system. Long story short, it's the field that exists everywhere in the cosmos, interacting with particles and giving them mass. Without this field, particles would be massless and would simply float around at light speed. The Higgs field is another mysterious entity that has always puzzled scientists. Think of this field as an ocean of invisible substances that all known elementary particles must come into contact with. However, the puzzling fact is that every substance or particle that comes in contact with the Higgs field reacts differently from one another. It's like the field deals with each particle in a unique way or pattern. Take light particles or photons, for instance. They move through the Higgs field in a streamlined manner. The field stretches the particles at most, but nothing more happens. However, in the case of other particles like electrons, things aren't so smooth. These particles face a lot more resistance from the Higgs field, causing the creation of turbulent waves. Scientists are still not sure why the Higgs field behaves this way. However, it is believed that the Higgs particle and the Higgs field are both fundamental keys to truly understanding the origin of mass in the universe. The desire to study the Higgs particle and its corresponding field has been the driving force behind several experiments on the Large Hadron Collider. And you can imagine the excitement when scientists finally accidentally discovered the Higgs particle in 2012. The experiment that led to the discovery was the ATLAS and CMS experiments. The ATLAS experiment was aimed at finding particles that existed during the Big Bang. The experiment entailed using an atlas detector to observe the collisions taking place in the LHC and the particles formed. The atlas detector was specifically equipped to detect the momentum of such resulting particles as well as their masses, energies, charges and nuclear spins. The CMS, or Compact Muon Solenoid, is another detector involved in seeking out the Higgs boson particle. The 21-metre-long, 15-metre-wide detector weighs over 14,000 tonnes and was collectively built by over 4,000 people. The CMS tentatively discovered the Higgs boson along with ATLAS in July 2012. The discovery of the Higgs boson particle became the strong proof of Higgs's theory in the 1960s and is still considered one of the greatest discoveries of modern-day science. But then, what exactly is so unique about the Higgs boson and why are scientists so intrigued by it? Well, the Higgs boson is considered the basic root of all matter in the universe. It is for this reason that experts have renamed it the God particle. Compared to other particles in the universe, the Higgs boson is extremely heavy and has a very short lifespan. The lifespan of the Higgs boson is one of the very reasons why it is so hard to study. 
While other particles may form and stay in their formed state, the Higgs boson instantly disintegrates into other smaller particles once formed. On average, a Higgs boson particle only exists for a time frame of 10 raised to the power of minus 22 seconds before decaying into smaller particles like photons and protons. This is why the only way this particle can be studied is in a closed chamber like the one the LHC provides. But so far, scientists haven't made much headway in learning exactly what the Higgs boson particle is and how it came to be. The discovery of the Higgs boson also led to another conclusion. The Higgs field was real. Without the Higgs boson and the Higgs field, there would be no atoms, molecules, elements and so on. All of these things get their mass from the Higgs boson. As particles like electrons and quarks interact with the Higgs field, they obtain mass. Heavier particles like the W and Z bosons also exist. These ones interact very much with the Higgs field, and this is why they have heavier masses. So you can say the Higgs field is the mysterious field behind the creation of mass, which constitutes nearly everything we see in the universe. This is why particle physics is just as important as astronomy in trying to unlock the mystery of how everything in the universe came to be. Particle physics is all about studying the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. Initially, all we knew about were atoms, protons and photons. Later, certain scientists began to suggest theoretical particles like quarks and gluons, and then Higgs also came up with the Higgs boson particle. LHC experiments have confirmed all of these particles and concepts. The Z boson, for instance, is supposed to be a heavyweight elementary particle along with its counterpart, the W boson. Theoretically, scientists concluded that Z bosons usually appear after a decay of the boson particle. Usually, only a tiny fraction, about 0.15% of a Higgs particle, decays to form the Z boson. However, when actual experiments from the ATLAS program investigated the Z boson, experts at CERN found that this theory wasn't entirely true. Data from ATLAS experiments showed that about 6.6% of Higgs boson actually yields Z bosons. This new finding points to the fact that our current model of particle physics, which is based on the Higgs particle and Higgs field, may not be perfect yet. But there's still a mystery experts have not been able to crack. The mystery of dark matter and dark energy. Amidst all the smashing and collision of particles together, nothing much has been unraveled by the LHC in terms of dark matter or dark energy. Dark matter and dark energy are two mysterious phenomena that have been detected in our cosmic wonderland but have never been seen or studied hands-on. Much of what we know about these two entities is based on speculations and theories. Until super instruments like the LHC hit a major breakthrough, we may just have to wait a little longer to discover what dark matter and dark energy really are. Scientists are willing to run tests with the LHC until these two mystifying phenomena are finally brought to light. Maybe by then, we'll finally be able to solve the puzzle of how the universe began and how it will end. However, there's a problem. Many folks out there feel the LHC experiments will do more harm than good. In fact, a huge percentage of the global community believes that CERN is damaging our planet with its Large Hadron Collider. One group of skeptics believes that the enormous force with which scientists are colliding particles in the LHC can tear the fabric of space-time and cause unprecedented catastrophes. The LHC smashes particles with a force of over 6 trillion electron volts. In physics, an electron volt is a measurement of the amount of kinetic energy gained by an electron accelerating from rest. When particles in the LHC collide at super high energies of 6 trillion electron volts, usually the resulting collisions end up with energy in the order of 13 trillion electron volts or more. It is important to note that this momentum doesn't come suddenly, but gradually. Usually, particles are subjected to a series of systems, each providing a corresponding increase in energy. First in line is the linear particle accelerator, followed by the proton synchrotron and then the superproton synchrotron. Finally, the charged plasma is fed into the main chamber, where it reaches its full energy and undergoes hours of atom-smashing collisions.
Just so you know, electrons or any other particles that travel at this energy level in the LHC attain speeds of up to 299.7 million meters per second, nearly the speed of light. Thanks to this mesmerizing speed, the particles can complete more than 11,000 revolutions per second in the LHC chamber. All of this results in more than a billion collisions per second. Now, imagine smashing so many particles at that rate for an hour or two. A nearly infinite number of collisions occur, each with the capacity to produce a subatomic reaction that is beyond what scientists can grasp. As interesting as it is to see this mesmerizing event unfold, many have admitted doubt that its sheer unpredictability makes it somewhat dangerous. Many skeptics and conspiracy theorists have long accused CERN of toying with powers beyond their control with the LHC. Some people have proposed that smashing beams at insane speeds may cause a severe atomic explosion to occur and lead to the creation of a massive black hole that could swallow up the Earth. Others have proposed that the periodic LHC shutdowns for repairs are actually a cover-up by CERN to hide the damages done by the LHC. You see, running the Large Hadron Collider is no small feat and it isn't uncommon for items to overheat despite the various preventive and corrective measures in place. Back during its first launch, the Large Hadron Collider broke down soon after it was turned on. Certain superconducting magnets, which are critical parts of the accelerator, were affected, which made it unsafe for use. CERN had to spend millions of dollars to fix the issue. Since then, it has become a norm for CERN to turn on the Large Hadron Collider and let it run for some months before shutting it down for upgrades. Usually, the upgrades last two years before the LHC gets turned on again. However, the last shutdown period was the longest, lasting from December 2018 to July 2022. Currently, the Large Hadron Collider is running. This time, it's expected to continue running until 2026. There's no telling what mysterious particle will be uncovered, perhaps another Higgs boson particle. The chances are quite slim. In reality, only one in one billion collisions in the LHC chamber produce a boson particle. And even when it is produced, it's too unstable to study, as experts would love to. CERN isn't backing down in its hint for this god particle. Despite what the public may feel or think, the organization is ready to risk it all to solve this puzzle once and for all. Although many voices have sprung up over the years to accuse CERN of all sorts of things, including opening a portal to another dimension, the organization has maintained its stance. According to CERN, these theories are all false and the LHC poses no threat whatsoever to the Earth. In fact, the organization pointed out that the high energy collisions in the LHC are actually mild compared to the ones that happen naturally. In space, cosmic particles collide at far greater energies than those noticed in the LHC. And so, if anything, CERN isn't looking to shut down the LHC. Rather, it's looking to make it better, faster and more effective. Even so, the remarkable achievements made with the LHC so far will only serve as motivation for the agency to continue despite all the controversy and criticism. Recently, scientists at CERN announced a mind-blowing discovery, one that wasn't even known to exist before. This was the discovery of a lifetime, as they had a new kind of pentaquark and tetraquark. Quarks are elementary particles just like the boson and usually combine to form hadrons. Examples of such hadrons are protons and neutrons, which basically constitute an atomic nucleus. Usually, quarks combine in twos and threes, but in very rare cases, they can combine in groups of four and five. These ones are called tetraquarks and pentaquarks, respectively. About five or six decades ago, the idea of pentaquarks was nothing more than an imagination, a theory on paper. But today, thanks to the LHC, scientists have seen and studied pentaquarks in the LHC. Even more interesting is that a very strange and new kind of pentaquark was recently found. This one featured a strange quark, different from the pattern seen in early models. It was like a more exotic kind of quark, and no one knows how or why it formed.
discoveries like these prove that there's still a lot we don't know about the quantum realm. And except we keep on digging, we may never find out the secrets that lie hidden in our subatomic universe. Such discoveries also confirm that the Large Hadron Collider has far more potential than we initially thought. It also proves that CERN wasn't wrong to spend billions of dollars to make this scientific instrument come true. Currently, even with the LHC presently running, CERN is gearing up for the next run of the LHC. In fact, the agency has promised a high-luminosity LHC project. This project aims to crank up the LHC's performance, thereby increasing the potential for discoveries. Luminosity, in this sense, refers to the number of collisions per given time. Higher luminosity means more collisions, which means more data for scientists to study. CERN scientists aim to increase the luminosity to about 10 times the LHC's original design value. This project is expected to become fully operational in 2029, and scientists are pretty hyped up about it. Many experts predict that it will allow for more detailed study of Higgs boson and may also allow other kinds of rare, new or previously unknown phenomena to reveal themselves. But then, while the anticipation within the scientific community is positive, that of the public is mostly negative. Many folks have voiced out that the coming project may just be what would tear the fabric of the universe apart and bring about humanity's doom. So there's a stalemate. Will the LHC continue its exceptional performance so far and make more discoveries? Or will it lead to the end of humanity? No one knows, at least not until the time comes. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.